Hi everyone, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can import an email contact list to System.io. So maybe you came from a different course and you were using Aweber or GetResponse and you have a, a list of contacts that have already subscribed to your previous offer and you want to transfer that to System.io. So that's something that you can do, you just have to make sure that they did have your permission um, for to send them emails. You have to be careful with this because System.io um, is very, does police this um, when you import contacts to your email list, they really do police, po police it um, and are very strict about it. I highly discourage you from importing any list from Clickly, okay? I've heard of accounts being banned, permanently banned, when people do import the list from Clickly. So make sure that it's really an email list that they really had to, they had to subscribe to one of your campaigns. Now this may look a little weird to you, but this is simply the contacts page. I just shrank the page to um, block the view of emails because I want to protect my subscribers and not expose their email address. And here on the left, I have a spreadsheet, but these are my emails, which is why I'm okay with showing it. Okay, so what you want to do is click on contacts, and then you want to um, click on import contacts and it looks like this now the spreadsheet just to show you what you want to do on the spreadsheet is just have one column for emails and one column labeled name okay because when people subscribe to your campaign that's what they provide you the name and the email your first column must be labeled email okay the first column has to be the email the second column the name if you import a campaign an email list from aweber or get response and they have other additional columns to simplify this i would suggest that you just delete those columns and just keep the email and the name this will prevent you from having any error messages when you upload the list uh, to system io okay so now i'm going to go back to my import page and like i said um they do give you that warning you are about to import new contacts into your account be aware that you should only import contacts who gave you their permission to send them emails a high percentage of complaints will get your account blocked before you import contact make sure you have cleaned your list of invalid emails and then they have here check invalid emails um a way of how you can do that and clean your list so now what i want to do is go ahead and import my spreadsheet now the spreadsheet has to be in csv format so make sure that you save it as comma delimited csv okay comma delimited and save okay now that you know that it's comma delimited saved now you can choose the file so click here to import it double click on the file you just saved and it's gonna change it to the name of your file so now i know it's uploaded here you're gonna leave this as comma because that's how you save the file and then you're going to this is optional if you want to go ahead and subscribe them to an email campaign you can select the email campaign and down here you can select the tag now there's different ways of handling this if these are subscribers from a previous course then i would suggest maybe creating a different tag for 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 them and maybe start with a newsletter sending out a newsletter letting them know how you transition Given the opportunity to opt out, um, if maybe they're not interested in knowing about a, another course, I mean, you don't want people who do not want to be part of your campaign. For the reason that first, um, you have up to 2,000 emails that are for free. 
So you don't want to waste the space of those 2,000 members. You just want to make sure that you have people that are really interested. So once in a while, it's even good to clean up your email list so that way you can still maintain that free campaign, that free plan status, if you will. Um, so if they, give them that option so that way you only have true people that are really interested. So I would suggest not selecting any email campaign and start off maybe with a newsletter that you send out to them. I do suggest maybe creating a tag because that way you know these individuals are separate um, from the roadmap or whatever course you're promoting. But that's a, just a suggestion. How you work it out is totally up to you. There's no right or wrong. So after you do that, um, you select everything you want to select, then you click on choose data to import. Okay, so here is a sample of the file. It only will give you the first four emails, so don't get um, concerned if you only see four. It only does show the first four, but the whole list will be imported. And then my first column is email. And this column here, label name, I want to designate it as first name. And then I'll click on import. Okay. Okay, it was giving me some errors, and that was because I had selected the campaign for some reason um not sure why but you see it did import it my list and it shows here that there's no invalid rows it was approved so it does take about 10 to 15 minutes before you see them in your contacts so when you click on contacts you will see it um those additional emails there but i hope this was helpful sorry for the hiccups but i hope this helps um just let us know if you have any questions